So we want to find the derivative of 1 over x squared with respect to x by definition. And so the first step, of course, is to write down the definition. But this time, I'm not going to use the one with h approaching 0. I'm going to use the one with w approaching x of f of w minus f of x over w minus x. And here, f of x is 1 over x squared. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. It's actually, a lot. this one is easier than the h approaching 0 one. Of course, if you had used h approaching 0, that would have still worked. So this is 1, my, one over w squared minus 1 minus, well, sorry, 1 over x squared all over w minus x. And so the next step is to combine the top fractions because you have a you have a difference of fractions on top, so this will be x squared over w squared x squared minus w squared over w squared x squared all over w minus x. I'm going to put the parentheses in so it's easy to tell what's on the numerator and what's in the denominator. And now this is x squared minus w squared over w squared x squared. And remember that since we're dividing that whole fraction by w minus x, it's the same as multiplying by 1 over w minus x. And you may be able to see where the cancellation is going to happen now. Because the top just factors to x minus w and x plus w using difference of two squares. And the bottom is w squared x squared w minus x. These two cancel out to a negative 1. So just be careful that even though they look similar, they're negatives of each other. And so this is x plus w over w squared x squared. And the whole thing is negative because there's a negative one on the bottom or the top. doesn't really matter. And when w approaches x, we replace w with x. So this is going to be negative x plus x over... Let's see, x squared times x squared. And so that's going to be negative 2x over x to the fourth. Or just negative 2 over x cubed. Another way of writing this is minus 2x to the minus 3. But our either answer is correct. And this one could be done also with the other definition, which is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. But I find this way a little easier. It's really personal preference because in both, in both cases you end up doing the same thing. But this one looks a little more symmetrical. So we have the derivative of 1 over x squared is equal to minus 2 over x cubed or minus 2x to the minus 3.